Hi, I'm Jennifer and the creative blogger and digital artist for Life is Messy and Brilliant. Today I thought it would be fun to sit down together and organize my office. Yesterday, um, Hurricane Ian passed through Florida and then I, start, I tried to stay productive by filming a lot of videos and editing a couple of stuff for my blog and then I left a huge mess in my office. So let's clean it up together, let's organize a little bit and then I'll give you a quick tour of my office. In my blog you will find a tour of my office with detailed descriptions and pictures of my desk and filming area. I will make sure to link it in the description box. Okay, I finished organizing this side of the office. My desk looks clean and it looks nice. The only thing I'm wondering if I want to leave all this stuff on my shelf or I might have to put this on a drawer that way it doesn't look so messy. But for now, this is how the desk looks and it looks so much better. So now I'm going to move into my filming area that needs some love and care and then I'll show you my office. The rubber part of the overhead stand leaves black marks on the desk. I'm going to cut these soft sheets to size and put them underneath to protect the desk. I'm sure my boyfriend's freaking out while he's watching this video because <laughs> he loves that lamp so much. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> My office is finally clean and I love the way it looks so welcome to my office here's a quick tour all right we're gonna start on the left side of my desk right here on the side I hang my Sony headphones I use these ones to edit my videos as the sound sounds better um, I connect it to my computer this one is a MacBook Pro right here I have my big iPad I use it for all my videos work and a little one for rebooks and to watch some videos. Right here we have my magic mouse, um, actually no, as a tripod, my keyboard and a Logitech mouse and this beautiful um, trackpad, I think is what it's called. And then right here we have my computer or my display. And then here on the side I like to have cables um, one for my iPad to charge my keyboard and just a quick uh, access to charge all my stuff. Here we have a small um, HomePod to listen music. Sometimes I like having a little bit of essential oil so I have that one right there. And then this stand for my iPad, uh, for my phone I mean. And then on the back you can connect it to charge. So usually having it there to charge. Here I always have water, tea, or coffee, so it doesn't stain the white desk. Here I have a notepad, and then this pen, that looks pretty. And then this desk, it's pretty long, and I love it. The best part is that it goes up and down. So right now it's at the lowest position. And then if I want to work standing up, it goes up. And then my boyfriend helped me with all the cable management. 
And then I have my chair. This one is from Ikea. And the best part about this chair is that it has this curve on the back. That way it kind of forces my back to be straight and not curved. I used to have a problem with my back hurting and I noticed it was a chair. And then at the bottom we have a hue strip light. We used to have this one in our balcony and then we moved it to the office because we thought it would look really cool. And we use some more in the office too. Right here we have a cable box, that one connects my the internet. And then right here, if you go above my desk, we have a cute flower so it looks pretty on the background videos. Kleenex, hand sanitizer, I actually put a couple, bunch of stuff here and I decided to move them to keep it simple. The microphone uh, that I always use to uh, create voiceovers, my diploma. And then right over here, I have a couple of um, shortcuts, mostly for my videos. Up there is like banner size. Over here, it's YouTube um, dimensions because I needed to record my boyfriend. And then a quick reminder. See? So, yeah. I always refer to those, so I always have them handy. And then if we move to the other side of the office i have i just put this um calendar my plan is to put like videos i'm working on the things i'm working on here and then at the top draw the calendar and the dates hopefully it'll help me it will keep me accountable <laughs> and then over here this is our filming station right here we have our Handy dandy fan it usually helps us because Florida it's really hot and we live in an apartment so sometimes it doesn't cool down enough. This one is a um, monitor. We use it, we connect it to the camera. That way we can film. Let me show you really quick. It's really helpful when I film videos. That way I can see if the iPad is um, within frame or out of frame so I put my iPad or whatever I'm working on and it shows on the monitor we have these two huge lights we actually got them from Amazon and let me turn them off so that you can see maybe better ah, this way those from Amazon my boyfriend uses these it's kind of like a huge tripod for his microphone on this tripod um, we have this one it controls um, the office lights I want them to turn it on or off that way they don't waste electricity when they're connected to the um, wall so this is extremely handy this one I think is for his microphone another microphone these are his here I have my the things I always use to film a flower hand lotion can never be and I like to keep my current nail polish here because whenever I film um, my iPad I like to fix my nails so it looks presentable then right here this huge monster it's one of his lights that he used to record and then I kind of like found a way to organize that side of the filming station because I just need to move pull my chair right there and turn on the lights and record but this was a little bit on the way so I fixed it so that's another filming station calendar and that's my side of the desk or the side of my office and this one is a tripod that I used to record use it for my camera and I love it so much it's so easy to use and it goes really tall as you can see and it's very stable and now I'm gonna show you that's his gaming area ah my side so this is a printer and it's awesome it's great it prints pictures and he also prints regular paper this first drawer it's kind of my technology drawer I have this screw that I use it for the camera, this glove, I use it to film my videos if I don't want my um, wrist to get on the way. It was very helpful on the old generations of iPad where the um, 
you, you no matter what you did they didn't have the um um the, the pen only would write i don't know how to say that um an extra key for my car here is like spare um little things to hold the cables this is very helpful i have these glasses i bought it from amazon too they help block the uv light when i work on my computer sometimes i get um my eyes get strained from working so much this is my poly print i love it it's so helpful <laughs> i have actually a sponsored video with them if you guys want to check it out this is a one terabyte um, um storage i have all my videos and everything is so helpful my boyfriend tells me it's an old generation so but it it works for me and this little strip i used to have them on my old videos and i keep it just in case i want to <laughs> still film something with it um i might use it for christmas the second jar is a little bit random but it's my extra books that i use these are um i feel i use this one on my bullet journal videos and then this other one is extra um this one i did a sponsored video for this um for this book not book she reached out to me and asked me if i could make something as i use of course and another spare notebook at the back at the bottom and then this is i'm gonna use this one as a bag section because i don't know where to put them anymore i don't want to throw them away because they're really nice i'm just going to use them for gifts and christmas gifts you know this next section is kind of my craft section over here i have all my different scissors this one have as you can see patterns my small rulers and my big ruler on the side these flowers i use them a lot on my videos i think they're beautiful i usually combine both of them Right here, eh, I use this placemat to cut so it doesn't damage a desk. I bought this one a while ago <laughs> and I still haven't used it, but I want to keep it because I still think I'm going to use it. Um, I have this weird looking um, double sided tape. Um, this fake leaves, as I've used it sometimes. Oh, these ones are the extra cartridges or extra paper for my poly print. So it's really nice. Some of them are um, double-sided or sticky. Some of them are regular paper. So this is helpful. I have these ones I use this sometimes for the backup of my videos. These are leaves and a butterfly. Um, somebody gave me all these um, wood hearts. And I have them here. Hopefully I'll do something with them for Valentine's Day. Here I have... I don't know how we call them in English. I'll probably put it in the caption, but in Spanish we call it char, um, car, escarcha. Um, I don't know the name of them in English. But I have them, all of them in these little containers. And then over here, I like using these ones on my videos. These are little ghosts. I got them a couple of years at dollar store. Um, spiders. <laughs> so I use them. Plenty of them on my videos. This third drawer, it's all about paper. So the refill paper for the printer. This one is for sketches. Right here, it's colorful paper. I usually use them when I want to make like personalized cards or use them on the back of my of, as backgrounds on my videos. These are stock cards. They are blank. I usually fill them up. And these are stamps along with um. Uh, like the little notes that you use on Christmas bags and then these are blank envelopes over here I have these sticky shipping labels sometimes I use them for stickers sometimes I use them for little things this is a laminator and then this one I got it at TG Maxx I just love the way it looks so that's from the product brain and I have used it a little bit oh and this is printer uh, photo paper these last drawers, I think that's our, yeah, these are my boyfriend's gadgets. And these also are his gadgets. He uses it to keep his cameras. Right here is where I decided to put my tripod. This is a cap for my mic, a little cover for my camera. And over here I decided to put my tripod, that way I can find it easy. First drawer is my working on or my reminder disc. And this binder that has all the papers that I'm currently working on. Back of them are uh, medical documents, things like that, quick notes. These are all paper things that need to be taken care of. 
second drawer is for my accessories. I here I have this clip, these extra ones, cute, colorful, no papers, and more on the bottom. Oh, I have so many of these, but I do actually use them a lot. And then I have these little ones. This one I've gone through these ones a lot. I sometimes I buy them on Amazon sometimes as a bundle, and sometimes you can find them at the dollar store. These glue sticks, I don't know, I have so many, but I do. I think I've collected them through the years, so probably came on a bundle. Not sure. Ah, oh, these washi tapes are the best. I found them on Amazon, and they're really affordable. Um, they stick really well, and I've used them quite a lot. Some of them are already thin. Some of them are not. This section is for the mechanical pencils that I have and uh, backup erasers. This one is for the colorful, oh, how do you call these ones? Note cards, I think. Sticky ones. I use, I have a lot of stuff that I used to use in college and I still use it, but not as much. I used to put these ones on my notebooks all the time or my binders to separate the subjects. I know. This one is their paper clips in an F shape. Um, some of them are still in there, some of them are random. I just found them really cute because they're my favorite animals. And then a pencil sharpener back here is tape. More paper clips. These are um, adhesive tape. We fill up my adhesive tape. These um, staples, and I staple it right here. This is like two removes of paper clips and then random super glue. And then this is kind of like the eraser slash. Um... Oh, I forgot what it's called. It's called eraser versus sharp pencil sharpener. Oh, and this is oh, this is super. This is a great glue. This is from Tomboy. Oh, it's awesome. The the top part is very thin and the bottom one is thick. So you can use it for anything. I've used it so much. It's already almost empty. See? Oh. This is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> and then my whiteout. I have this type of whiteout for some things that are like um, need the brush. And then I have one whiteout here <laughs> that is more like the tape. And this is a um, kind of like a privacy for the letters when you receive them and you just want to cross off or cross off your personal information. And then I have to open boxes. Next drawer. Oh, these <laughs> these drawers are full of pens. These are all my pilot um, pens, but these are this specific brand. The um, Pilot G207. Oh, these pens are awesome. They're my favorite. Keep them in stock. This is another amazing pen. I use it all the time, especially because the tip is really thick and the black ink is rich in color. This one is also by Pilot, but these are um, erasable pens. I used them a lot in college, especially on my chemistry class where I needed to constantly erase and rewrite. Here I have another one by Pilot. Uh, yes, by Pilot. These are their. Um, I don't know what they're called. Oh, but they have this. Like this. These are fountain pen. And the tip is like this. Oh, they write so beautiful. They're my favorite. I got them during a sponsor, um, sponsor blog post, and I just kept them because they were so amazing. These are zebra midliners, and they're amazing. Um, these particular ones, as you can see, one side has a brush pen and the other one has a um, more of a regular side. Uh. The next one is my <laughs> the next one is my um, brush pens. These are by Tomboy and they're amazing. I love the colors, the quality. It's great. I use them all the time. And then I have a couple of colors. It's funny because I have all these colors and the only one I'm missing is black. So I need to get one. These are also by Tomboy. 
and they're recyclable color pencils and they're really awesome but these ones are the best my dad got my dad gave me um these during my birthday oh, it comes with so many colors and they're so beautiful and yeah if you're looking for color pencils these ones are definitely the ones you need over here i have more color pencils these are by pilot and they're erasable color pencils they are okay um like if you draw with them you can barely see the color on the paper so i wouldn't buy them again i actually plan to get rid of them since i already have these two boxes and i have other these kind of like the pencil box have some for drawing kind of like mechanical pencil try to kind of like categorize them <laughs> and then back here i have this um glitter pens and i love them they're awesome the ink is rich and i actually found them at tg maxx really cheap i think i still have it yep that works and it comes with so many colors and this white one it writes really well sometimes when you buy wet pens the ink just um dries off in a couple of days but yeah So if you're in a tight budget, check out TG Maxx or Marshalls. They usually have really great stuff. This other drawer, it's also, this is my um, like thin marker slash tick marker. This is our My Tomboy by um, Twin Tone again. One side is thin, which is awesome. And the other side is thick. Which is great, depending on what you're trying to do. It comes so many colors. These are really awesome. They haven't dried up on me. And then these ones I use actually on my um, whiteboard. And I just use um, hand sanitizer to remove them. They remove very well. Like because they have the really thin... Um, the really thin ink or brush. Oops. Here are my highlighters slash markers. These are erasable markers by Pilot. Um, they're really, really great. They're awesome on paper, but if you try to use them on a mark or on a white uh, on a oh, yeah on a white uh, board or something like that, it won't work. But these are really good. Do I, are they the best? No. These are I need to get rid of this ones actually. They're highlighters by Pilot, but. They already they dried up so quickly and you can barely see them on the paper so i don't recommend them these are tomboy um white um <laughs> these are tomboy highlighters and they're amazing if you love really bright colors one size like this on the other side really thin which is great depending on what you're trying to do on your page so these are highly recommended and if you're looking for a more pastel color of highlighter get these ones these ones are the best pastel color highlighters they're gonna look so beautiful on your paper on your paper and then back here is kind of random pens of like white glittery pen this one I need to go through this one <laughs> but some of them still work so that's why i keep them and right here this one is my last drawer um these are all erasable markers more markers kind of like random markers that i've had throughout the years highlighters um i need to get rid of some of these ones and these are the markers i have so many Oh, I had them, oh, you can tell, <laughs> so I wouldn't lose them in school. More markers. Quick update, I actually went through all the boxes that were on the side of my um, drawer and then I emptied it inside these bin containers. Um, these two last ones are the glittery pens 
these two are brush pens and then these ones are erasable pens and I did the same one with the next drawer I got rid of those extra ones that I had and these ones are highlighters which are also like brush pens and these ones are my favorite pens um, I think this is a ball pen and all the ones back there are colored pencils I got rid of those extra ones that I was no longer using and here, this last one, I had a bunch of markers, so I replaced them with these erasable markers here, regular markers with highlighters, and then this one is um, fine markers, which means the tip of the pens are really thin, and this one's a little bit thicker. So that's the date with my drawers.